Okay, so you are watching Home Lecture with me. So my name is Amiro. So today I'm going to talk about one of the theories that usually mass communication students or uh, psychology students usually apply in their lessons. And so this theory is known as cognitive dissonance. Uh, cognitive dissonance is actually a theory uh, that refers to a situation when you have conflict between your belief and when someone is trying to jeopardize or tarnish or challenge the belief that you're holding. Okay, so and this theory is not only taught in psychology and mass communication, but this theory is also applied in warfare, um, advertising, and other promotional campaigns just to mold perception of the audience or society. Let me explain. So I've explained earlier, right? So um, a few components that you can find in this theory is the first one is of course the cognitive, or also known as uh, the belief that you have been holding in your entire life, and then you have dissonance or we call as interference when someone is trying to challenge or trying to defy your belief so that is called as dissonance and then consistency is when you are trying to find consistency in your belief whether you should remain on your uh, cognitive or you should adopt a new belief or a new concept so that is cognitive dissonance I'll explain further about um, one of the examples of cognitive dissonance is one is for example Example. All this while, you have been believing that to be beautiful, so you have to be slim or muscular. This is for men, yeah, I'm applying. So, in that sense, so you believe that uh, you have to be slim, you have to be fair, you need to have very long hair, you need to have curvy, you need to have big boobies. So, those are actually the concepts or the ideas that the society have been holding on. And then the media is trying to challenge or trying to change the perception of the audience by portraying a lot of campaigns, for example, that everybody uh, has the right to be treated beautifully. So that's why recently you have been watching on television, uh, advertising, commercials, models nowadays, they have um, other figures or different figures than what has been set by the media before. So now you can see that uh, a lot of ladies or recent supermodels have been curvy body or dark skin, short hair, probably no hair after all, at all. Okay, so they're trying to challenge this, this kind of perception by giving a lot of campaigns because they want to change your cognitive or your belief. So that is dissonance. They're trying to challenge your belief. So now it is entirely up to you whether you want to believe that um, concept or not by either looking for information whether be, uh, looking for information whether you should stick to your uh, recent or your current belief or you should adopt whatever that has been portrayed by the media. So that is what we call consistency. Okay, so in next episode, I will give you more examples or recent case studies or maybe recent campaigns that can help you to understand about cognitive dissonance and other theories. So see you guys again in next episode. Adios.